Hi, my name is John Skippy Limcool. Welcome to a new quick video. This is a rundown of new features in 1.0.12 of Unify. Just came out. Uh, to start with, if you hit the little bullet right here, we now have CPU meters and they are per layer. No matter how many layers you have, plus global CPU right here for all of your cores, and then the division of what in Unify is using what share of those cores. It's pretty, pretty exciting. On top of this, we have compatibility with iLock and with e-licensers, so lots of plugins that we've had issues with in the past are working. Stability things that are beautiful have been fixed. We're more stable than ever before. And maybe the coolest thing of all, and that's Polybox. And Polybox is a little MIDI effect that you can use to do some pretty amazing things. I'm gonna show you a crazy example where I actually have 16 different DX plugins set up. Plus I have um, a kick drum and a pad that I can bring in at this if I want. But to start with, with I have a blue ARP playing just a little chord and little melody ARP, right? And it's just playing on one layer. This is what we've been able to do for a long time. With Polybox, it allows it so that each time you play a new note, it will go to the next layer. And we have some cool things over here to automatically duplicate layers up to 15 of itself because you can use this to take mono synths and make them polyphonic. And I'll show you that in a second, but first check this out. This is a one note. Playing 16 layers of DX. Some have effects, some don't, so it's a little bit variety. Let's pan a couple of these so you really hear some fun panning stuff happening every now and then. Play chords. You just get this cool randomizing of cool events. Bring in the kick. CPU. So it does all sorts of cool cycling things like that. There's other ways to use it. Remember, each of these layers could be any synthesizer you own. So you can take all your synthesizers and put them into this situation. All your contact libraries, your favorite Omnisphere patches. Right, but check this out. So here's Polybox. If you don't have a mono synth, here's a really cool mono synth you can go pick up for free from uh, Blamsoft. They make a uh, Reason plugins, but they've released this for free. And what's interesting with this is it's available only as a VST, but because of the way Unify works, you can load this as a VST into audio unit uh, hosts or VST3 hosts, whatever you use, it will still play. So let's take, and I'll show you how to make any monophonic synth, Repro 1, the TB303 plugins that are out there, all that stuff. Those can all be turned into polyphonic synths just by doing this. So Polybox is off. And let's replace the Guru Sampler. Let's go to all of our instruments. Uh, let's show you with Blamsoft first. So here's the VK1 Viking synth. It's an emulation of the Moog Voyager, which is why they call it Viking. But it sounds great. Tons of patches. Let's say perky lead. Wouldn't it be nice to play this polyphonically? This is definitely a patch. All you have to do, <laughs> this is nuts. All you have to do, this is all set so it's on MIDI channel one. You just go over here and this is set to four layers which means that what that means is that I've told the pool size to be a total of four layers. You can make it bigger. Let's actually make it eight. So I can go over here and I say, duplicate seven times next MIDI channel, which means it's gonna make seven additional copies of this patch. So I have seven other Viking synths that I just made 
And uh, right now it's still mono. I can't play polyphonically. Turn on polybox. We even put sustain into polybox because a lot of these mono synths don't have sustain. Right? And then I, I told Shane, we got to have a shortcut to get back to just one layer instead of sitting here and going option click to, or, or even worse for you guys to just go here and say delete. If you hold down option or alt and click init, it will erase everything but the first layer. So now you're ready to go surfing again. Uh, let's do this with something else. Let's go to uh, Yuhi Repro 1, a wonderful synthesizer. Great sound. I have a library at pluginguru.com for this. It's really cool. So let's go over here to the pack and let's find some sort of a cool uh, plucky sound or lead. Oh, this is another clue you have to do. When you're playing from just a single patch, bypass poly because what happens, it's cycling eight notes. So if I don't have this bypassed, I'm going to hear a note once every eight times. So bypass. That'd be really nice to play polyphonically. So let's go over here, say boom, seven, and just like that. You can play repro one polyphonically. One other thing we added to 1.0.12 is that Guru Sampler now has the ability to take Here's a piano with a whole bunch of samples, right? I can choose just one sample from the list and now it's mapped across the whole keyboard. And it doesn't make it sound realistic because I'm not so much, there's other companies and other places to go get super realistic. I just want really cool. That's from a piano, <laughs> but it's a super high sampled up here, right? But down low, And then I put it later with some other nice pretty sounds. So we're all at home playing with our studios of gear. We're all in this together, my friends. So, um, oh, also I wanted to point out real quickly on the template, if you hit save, there's a whole bunch of detailed instructions about how to do what I just showed you. So if you need to uh, follow and like, how did you do that? Instead of watching the video, the instructions are actually inside of the, the little information in our comment window. I filled it up full, okay? So thank you for your support. Enjoy Polybox, enjoy Unify, be safe. See you soon.